I'm going to do the What Causes the Season lab from the middle school manual. And uh, there's another version, um, uh, Angle of Insulation, that's uh, in the Earth Science Manual. They're similar. Uh, they go into kind of different levels of detail and analysis there. And what we've done is I've attached a go temp to the globe and we put it up here in the northern hemisphere and we taped it so that it was just touching the globe there and to, to do that we actually put a little roll of tape under here to kind of prop it up and then taped it down firmly uh, to that section of the globe. And uh, this go temp I'm going to plug directly into the computer via the USB port and uh, to collect the data. And uh, so what I need to do next is I need to position um, the lamp such that it is modeling where the sun would be in the winter time uh, in the northern hemisphere. And so to do that, I need to bring this down such that it's aimed directly at the uh, Tropic of Capricorn, because that's where it would be on December 21st if you were um, in the winter time in the northern hemisphere. So I'm going to aim it there, and then we have a length of string. The lab calls for a 20 centimeter length of string, and that's so that we can measure the distance from the globe to the light bulb so that we keep that the same for um, both the winter time and then when we do the summertime position here. So I need to line this up there with the Tropic of Capricorn. That'll take just a second. Bring it back just a little bit. Okay, so that looks good. And I'm going to be using the logger light software. And one of the things that we've done is that if you're doing the labs from the manuals, there are some template files that are in there and you can go and open that file. So I'm going to go and open the file for this lab so that my collection parameters are all ready to go and we can just start to, to collect the data. So let me go and open that file. So we go up to the file folder. We can open this up. We see the various manuals here, and we're doing the lab out of the middle school with Vernier. And so we'll open that one up. And it is experiment number 10, What Causes the Seasons. And uh, so this is the, um, the screen for this lab. If we look down at the bottom, we see that uh, we're recording for five minutes. And uh, so we are ready to collect. And so I'm going to press the collect button here and then I will turn the light on and um, this lab lasts for five minutes and so it's going to record the temperature change over that five minute period so I hit collect and I'm going to turn on the lamp okay I have turned the light on and now the computer is going to uh, record this temperature for five minutes and it will start to display a real-time graph of this and uh, if we were doing this with an alcohol thermometer, um, it would be um, a lot more monotonous to do it this way. Uh, if you, and uh, so the students would not be able to see a live graph displayed uh, as this happens. So they see that as we turn the light on, that maybe indeed the temperature does begin to increase just a little bit here. And so now we're ready to do um, the summer position. And uh, so I've let this uh, cool off for about five minutes or so, so it get, got back down to room temperature. And what I need to do is reposition our model sun such that it is above the Tropic of Cancer, um, which would be the position of the sun in, on June 21st in the Northern Hemisphere. And so I need to, just like I did before, make sure that the distance is about the same there. Okay, I've done that. Uh, I need to make sure that I save, uh, store my last run. So I go up to the filing cabinet and hit store. And we reposition the light uh, for the summertime position. Hit collect. And then turn on the light. And I will wait five minutes, and then we can compare. Okay, let me turn this off. The uh, computer has finished the run here, and so we can take a look at our graph. And if you look at the, the bottom 
line down here. This is for the winter in the northern hemisphere. And then the upper graph there is from the, the summer when we move the sun higher in the sky. And if we look at the, uh, the summer there, we see that indeed it is uh, heating up faster when the sun is higher in the sky. And so this lab is one that uh, is fairly straightforward, and you might think that uh, most people understand why we have seasons, but uh, it is a very uh, common misconception that the Earth is actually closer to the sun in, um, in the summertime in the Northern Hemisphere, which it is actually not. And uh, there was a video uh, called A Private Universe where they asked Harvard students what caused the seasons, and uh, unfortunately, most of them uh, got that answer wrong. And uh, so with this lab, you uh, allow your students to investigate this, and uh, uh, hopefully they will come up with the uh, uh, right conclusions there about what causes the season. So I really encourage you to give this lab a try.